can disrupt a lot of stuff. They really is that the most important? Because they're, they're, they seem to be well balanced. They don't yeah, for, sure. For, sure. for sure. Y'all think that's our biggest thing, just getting stops and then creating an offense off our defense. I mean, that's what we hang our head on. We want to run and get out and play in transition. Thank you. Did anyone here in Pittsburgh or I guess anywhere in the NCAA tournament that you've played with before that you know, any of those Kentucky guys or Creighton, anyone, any of those Oakland, uh, anyone like that? Uh, I haven't played with, I don't know. Yeah, no. It's Kentucky, Oakland, and yeah. Texas Tech, right? That's, the, That's your uh, half, and then the other half is Creighton, Akron, Well, I, well, I was Oregon. in the Big East last year. Oh, wait. Uh, Akron, Ali Ali. I played with Ali Ali last okay. year on Butler. And then Creighton, obviously, I was in the Big East, so I played them twice. Played a bunch of them. And who else is here? Akron, 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 Oregon, Oregon, South Carolina. Oregon, South Carolina. Nah, that's it. That's it. But yeah, Akron, Ali Ali, that was my teammate okay. from last year. He transferred. It's, it's a little crazy yeah. sometimes in March where you end up with all these teams getting thrown back together and you run into people you haven't seen in a while. I mean, obviously, you've seen him. Have you bumped into him at all here today? No, but he actually called me last night. He called me to see what hotel I was at. We were like 25 minutes away, so we didn't end up linking up. But yeah, I'm, I, I did Ali Ali. We talked to him. Okay. Will you be rooting for Akron then? Sure, for sure. I would be crazy. Yeah. I'm a root for my guys until they get to play us. I'm a Thanks, Jay. Appreciate it. Just talking with Mo a second ago about how he, you know, is handling observing Ramadan during all this, and he was saying that some of you guys didn't know that that was something he was going to be observing or understand what went into it. What was your knowledge level when he said, I'm going to be fasting, this is a thing that's going on, and how'd you kind of take it? I mean, I knew what Ramadan was. I knew, like, you couldn't eat, but I didn't know, like, the certain times, like, that he was going to have to go out the game and just start grabbing no food when the sun literally went down, so, like, to see what he's doing right now while fasting is just it's crazy. Like. I don't, I don't know how he does it, honestly, how it's all too old, but no, I didn't know much about Ramadan other than, like, you can't eat, but, like, that's crazy, so I'm thinking, like, it has to be some, like, some, like, some time to eat, but no, he actually, he, he don't eat when the sun's up until, like, he doesn't come to lunch and stuff like that, so. How, what does it say about his just commitment to observing his religion and his resilience to do all that while also playing in the ACC tournament, now the NCAA tournament? Yeah, that just shows you what type of guy Mo is, you know, his focus and his dedication, he prides himself on being him. And I feel like that's something he's always been. Like he's been unapologetically himself. And he knows what he has to do, and he's still giving us the best version of him while doing, while maintaining his religion. So I hats off to him. He's doing a really good job. With that. When you see the late tip time, are you kind of like, oh okay, good, at least Mo can eat yeah, before? For sure, for sure, definitely. Because uh, we played in DC. I remember the first time we got a 7:30 or an eight game or something. He's able to eat before and just have more energy. So obviously, you know, so yeah, that's better for him. You ask for a snack, like whenever he does get pulled out of the game, and they're giving him like the gel packets and things. <laughs> nah, You're like, can I get some of that? No, nah, I, I, I get to eat, so I, I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah. usually pretty full fuel throughout the day. So no, nah, I don't really ask. But I'll be seeing him go back. He be going. He be hungry. Uh, I can tell he's. I can tell he's hungry. <laughs> How much credit do you give the training staff for you know helping Mo with his fuel, your ankle, and, and like uh, DJ Horn's uh, hip flexor? Yeah, I mean it was it was almost crazy how like things kept us coming up, coming up. Well, obviously we came with DJ Horn coming here. He, we knew he didn't play first game, but like the way things just popped up over the five days, I give him the most. I tip my hat to all of them. We were getting massages at the time, one in the morning. <laughs> there he is right now. You see, you want to snap. I don't know. Other than that, he's usually really good. Like, when you come in, they're always available, always trying to stretch us out. We, like I said, we was getting massages at one in the morning at times. Like, the last person would get done at two if we had a late game. So, I had off to them. They did a really good job of just always being available and just being there for us. How does the body feel after that long stretch last week? I mean, uh, when we got home, it was pretty bad, like yeah. pretty pretty sore, pretty tough. But obviously, we got a chance to just reset and just kind of get back into things. So now I feel I'm good. I'm ready to play. I know that your move, you've moved on now, but just process what you guys accomplished last week at DC. You know, five games and five days. I, I really can't even. I haven't even had a lot of time to really take it all then still, but like because obviously you got to relock in to win another one. Yeah, so, but it's just like the commitment. And and the dedication and the, like, the consistency that it took to just come in every day and like knowing that if you don't win you're probably not going to go to the tournament and your season will be over so like just that that winner going home and like it has to be right now feeling like 
it's just unbelievable what we put together just one game at a time. We just kept kept the right mindset, stayed positive, and just head down and went to work. Do you think it's given you guys an edge because now it really is a surviving event? Yeah, you know, for sure, for sure. So, I mean, winning five games in five days, that gives you tons of confidence and momentum with that. And, and the thing about the five games is I feel like we got better each and every game. So going into the tournament, I feel like this is the best we've been as a team, and this is the best time to be that team. What do you